to welcome every one of you to this great crossover night. Crossing over from 2022 to 2023. The theme of my message is you can cross over and cross over and cross over and cross over. I want to inform everyone that is into fellowship this night that we are in for something that is going to be very remarkable. And uh, I am not kidding here. This is not fanciful talk. This is not proposing or propounding something that is a fanciful, a tall order, something that is an ideal, but it's not achievable, it's not tenable. That's not what I'm propounding. I am not wanting to tell you something that is uh, very interesting, make your mind to be you know, hard to be lifted up, um, but the thing is uh, the, the, there is no substance in it. The thing is not achievable. It's not the mind of God. I'm not telling you some good thing that I've articulated and then I'm pushing those good things down the throat of the living God and then wanting him, forcing him to do something that is not according to his will. Some time ago, I met somebody in the Caribbean island. And then he was talking like somebody who was selective. He said, if we preach, and we preach and tell the people of uh, the abilities of God, and then but those things that didn't come to pass, that uh, we should be very careful. Uh, we should be selective. We should be talking with some kind of reservation, per adventure. Uh, the things that were, were what the people are asking are not things that God wants to give. In my mind, I said, I don't agree with that. Whatsoever that the word of the Lord gives us to believe that God is able to do, we give it to the people and urge them to develop their faith to believe those things and those things will come to pass. The God we are talking about in the present day is the God who was there for them of old. And there is no way anybody can tell me that God who was for them there of old can no more, more be of us in the present day. There is a verse of scripture that comes to mind readily to show you that even this our day that is filled with uh, uh, troubles, troubles and circumstances that are heavier than the troubles and circumstances of Jesus' day, we are seen ahead of time. And he made this remark, which I'm going to read now. He gave us this information. In John's Gospel, chapter 14, and verse 12, Jesus Christ said, and I want you to hear, watchman minister, Jesus Christ said, watchman walker, watchman born again person Christian, hear this, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do, and greater works than these which I do, he will do. Will he do? Because I go unto my father. Was he joking? Was he saying things that he didn't mean? Of course not. The works that I do, the person will do. Why? He had said to them, occupy in my business until I come. Now he knew 
that in the course of time, people will still continue in his business. And as a result of having the necessity of continuing his business, now there must be those uh, things that should be granted in the present day in order to confirm what they are saying. That continuation will, will have to be there. The work that I do, you will do. And greater works than the one that I did will you do. Why? The reason is as follows. He looked ahead and saw that greater circumstances, worse circumstances, worse scenarios will exist, requiring greater miracles. And he said, as I go to my father, worse scenarios will come, worse circumstances will come, requiring greater miracles. And so you will have to do even greater miracles, providing that you believe. So then, here we are. And then I come with the message, you can cross over and 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 keep crossing over. Now, I suppose that right now your heart is tuned to listen to the argument and the truth that can make you to cross over from 2000 and 22 into 2023, and from 2023 to 24, and from 24 to 25, and from 25 to 26, and on and on. That is what I came with. Now, let's join our music team to take the songs for inspiration. And then I come with the root and the argument that will be a lot, the argument that you will understand, and that becomes the key to open you to the status of crossing over and crossing over and crossing over and crossing over. Want to sing a song that says, Great is thy faithfulness. Song number 13. After that, we sing, Standing on the Promises of God, song number 115. And then, the third one is a song that says, Surely goodness and mercy. Song number 146.
standing on the promises of God. 115. Surely goodness and mercy, one, four, six.
Let us pray. Eternal Father, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Lord, I come before you with thanksgiving, with praise and worship, with honor and adoration, for thou hast created all things. And for thy pleasure, they are and were created. Thank you very much because this is the last night of 2022. And all the people have come before your presence, craving, wanting to leap into the next year. 2023. Thank you very much because of what you have designed. You made me to see this singular truth that has the capacity, has the very capacity of leading every individual without exception, the boy and the girl, 
the man and the woman, and every category of person that is found in the church of the watchman, and every category of person that is found in the church, the universal church, the mayor of your portion to listen unto these truths, finding themselves being able, having the instrument, having the argument, will be able to make them, help them, enable them, and uh, prepare them, and qualify them from crossing over from 2022 to 2023 and 2024 and 2025 and crossing over and crossing over and crossing over. Lord, I thank you very much because it is certain what you have designed to do. Thank you very much. You have known about this day. You have known about this night. And this night is going to yield the dividend that it should yield. Thank you because it has already yielded it. I go into the perfect law of liberty. And as we go into the perfect of liberty to, to lift out the argument, grandfather in heaven, it is certain that that argument goes out and hits the mind of the individuals and gets into the resources of the heart, even into the fabric of the heart. And it's returned there, great Father in heaven. It will now surely yield the dividend of crossing over and crossing over and crossing over and crossing over. Lord, I pray that if any man, any woman, any boy, any girl, any pastor, any evangelist, any person that is sick, any person that is even at the point of death, that should appreciate these things, receive these things, receive this truth, that such a person will have a turnaround of 180 degrees in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much because I know you've answered. In Jesus' name, we are prayer. Then I hear them say amen everywhere. Amen, amen and amen and amen. Here we come. Here we come. Let me draw some inspiration from something. It looks uh, hilarious. It looks uh, social. But let me draw an inspiration from it. Some time ago, when they were having the World Cup, and then it was a day that a nation that is full of football, they call such nations, football nations. Brazil was to face England. Then I saw a banner that somebody was lifting up. And what it was written on the banner is, England, here Brazil comes. God save your king. Meaning what? Here is the, the football nation known over the world. Here we come. God save you people. What is the, what is the inference? What can we draw? Here I come, watchmen, and whosoever that's going, that is listening to this message that says you can cross over and cross over and cross over and cross over. Here I come with truth. And God help you. God help you to buy the truth and then qualify yourself for crossing over from 2022 to 2023 and from 2023 to 2024 and from 2024 to 2025 and from 2025 to 26 and on and on in head. I will prove it this midnight. And I know that men and women, even people outside, outside the enclave, outside the four corners, as it were, of the watchman, who will hear this, get excited about it, 
people outside and people inside, all of them will by that excitement, will be back by that receipt of the argument of the truth of God's word, all qualify themselves for crossing over and crossing over and crossing over. Now listen to me. The Lord God is the person that bids us come and bring your argument. And I like that. Come with your strong argument. He said, come along, let's reason together. In Isaiah chapter 1, and we are reading verse 18. Come now, and let's reason together, saith the Lord. Let's talk together. Let's share our views. Bring your, your argument. Let's talk. Let's go into a conversation. If you are seen be a scarlet, don't worry. I know what to do. If it be as red as crimson, I know what to do. Now, but if that appears not to be understood very well by somebody, let's now read some place that will make you to understand more appropriately. In Isaiah chapter 41, and we read verse 21. Isaiah 41 verse 21. It says, Produce your cause, said the Lord. Bring forth your strong reason, said the king of Jacob. Produce your case. Bring your argument. Let's, let's reason together. Bring your argument. Bring the argument that you have with which you want to win a case. The case you have with me, or, the, or what you are expecting at my hand. Can I tell the watchman something, and whosoever that is listening to me, and listen to me, even if you don't belong to the watchman, but you have the, the, the mind of the watchman. The watchman is the somebody that is uh, having some, that is uh, interested in having some uh, higher quality um, than other people who wants to help and uh, lead other people into some destination. That is a watchman, even though he may not belong to our ministry. Now, let me tell you this, that of old, there were those who hearkened unto this injunction even before it was written, even before it was penned down. Isaiah lived after Moses. And Moses, although he did not read the writings of Isaiah, but he knew by some kind of intuition, because the same spirit, that there is a provision for making strong argument. And you make that strong argument, you win. And let us see how he practiced what God said through the prophet Isaiah, even before Isaiah lived. In Exodus chapter 32, and we are reading verse 9. Exodus chapter 32. We are reading verse 9. The people of Israel had at this point in time committed a grievous sin, idolatry. And now that was very offensive. And look at what happened. In verse 9, Exodus 32. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen these people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now, therefore, let me alone. Leave me alone. Don't hinder me. Don't stand in my way. That's the meaning of let me alone. Don't stand in my way. There is a point, God knew that Moses was going to stand in his way and he pleaded with him, don't stand in my way, don't make any argument, don't plead anything, don't bring any strong reason so that I will do what I want to do to finish them in a moment of time. 
and that I may consume them and I will make of thee a great nation. But you know what? Moses refused. I will stand in your way. I'm going to prevent you. And I'm going to prevent you by bringing my strong argument. Listen to me attentively. Folk that is in the church of today, in the days, in the, in the last day, that there is a lot of lackadaisicalness, a lot of people in church. And when you are dishing out truth with strength and with emphasis, you see somebody is not really, you know, listening to it and look and then reading between the lines and saying, but what can be truer than this? This is fantastic. This is the truth. I hold it. Now, if you must be what you ought to be, if you must cross over, from 2022 to 2023 and keep crossing over, then open your ears to hear. I said Moses did not read the prophet Isaiah because he had lived before Isaiah came to be. But the same spirit made him know that if you have a strong argument and then bring it before God that you win the case. Some time ago, I told watchmen when I went to Bini, I told them that you wield the world and you win the war. You wield the world as a weapon and as an argument and you win the war. Now Moses in verse 11 now said, besought the Lord his God and said, Lord, why do thy wrath wax hot against thy people which thou hast brought forth out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand? Point number one. He reminded him of what he did. He reminded him that he needed to, he, he should remember that he needed to do many, many things to now bring break Pharaoh to pieces. Because Pharaoh originally has said, who is the Lord? Moses, you are regarding them words. He called what God said them words. And then God said, okay, I'm going to harden his heart so that he will be qualified for all the miracles and all the pestilences. Now remember that. Verse 12, wherefore should the Egyptians speak and say, for mischief did he bring them out to slay them in the mountains and to consume them from the face of the earth, torn from thy fierce rod, and repent of this evil against thy people. If you do this thing that you are wanting to do, the Egyptians will say, see, see, see you now. See them. He has gone to destroy them. Even his own people. Now, verse 13. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, thy servant, to whom thou swearest by thy own self. Wow. And said this unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven, and uh, this land which I have spoken of will I give unto your seed, and they shall inherit it forever. And the Lord repented of evil, that he turned his mind from the evil which he thought to do unto his people. What are we talking about? We are talking about the fact that you come with a strong argument, you come with a strong truth, and with it, and present it, it will yield you the dividend that it should yield you. Oh, praise God. I remember the king called Hezekiah. And what happened? Hezekiah was sick. Hezekiah was sick unto death. And then, look at what happened in Isaiah chapter 38. Hezekiah wielded this argument. Strong reason. Isaiah chapter 38. And I'm reading from verse 1. Isaiah 38. And from uh, verse 1. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. 
And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thou said the Lord, set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto God and said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept so. Listen to me. What this man brought is a strong argument. He said, Look at how I have followed you, done that which is pleasing in your sight. Is it the way you want to reward me for my following you? And when he finished the argument, strong argument, now Isaiah was already walking out. And the Lord said unto Isaiah, Return unto Zechariah and announce to him, I have heard your argument. I have no reason I should say it doesn't hold any water what you have said is the truth therefore i elongate your life by 15 solid years what are we talking about we're saying that you will the truth you discover a truth you discover an argument strong one you wield it and it will yield the dividend that's what i'm saying for the time being and then I remember the case of Obadiah. Obadiah was the chief of staff of Ahab. At the time that God has set, brought down punishment, chastisement for Israel, three and a half years drought, and everything was cursed. And the animals were dying, there was no water anywhere. And then Ahab had uh, sought to find the uh, Elijah and Elijah had disappeared by the guidance of the Almighty God. And then Ahab went to the places to, make, to, to seek him, but he couldn't find him. And then he divided the land between himself and his chief of staff. Go this way while I go this way. But adventure, we will find some stuff. So that the animals, the donkeys, and the moose, and all those uh, beasts of burden, should uh, not all perish. And while Ahab went one way, Obadiah, his fear for that, went another way. But, but that was about the time that God decided to now bring rain. And uh, the time, the consummation has come for the, for the drought. And then as Obadiah was going, behold, Elijah. And Elijah said, Obadiah recognized Elijah. Are you that man of God? He said, yes, I am. And then, then Elijah now said to Obadiah, go and tell your master that the prophet that made that declaration is back. And then let's hear what Obadiah said, he made an argument, he brought a strong argument, and he won the case. In 1 Kings chapter 18, 1 Kings chapter 18, I'm reading from verse uh, 6. So they divided the land between them to pass throughout it. Ahab went one way by himself, and Obadiah went another way by himself. And as Obadiah was in the way, behold, Elijah met him, and he knew him and fell on his face and said, Are thou that my lord Elijah? And he answered, I am. Go tell thy lord, behold, Elijah is here. And he said, What have I seen? What is, what is it? What is sin did I commit? That thou wouldst deliver thy servant into the hand of Ahab to slay me? As the Lord thy God liveth, there is no nation or kingdom whither my Lord had not sent to seek thee. And when they said he is not there, he took an oath of the kingdom and nation that they found thee not. And now thou says, Go, tell my Lord, behold, Elijah is here. 
And it shall come to pass as soon as I am gone from thee that the Spirit of the Lord shall carry thee whither I know not. And so when I come and tell him, Ahab, and he cannot find thee, shall slay me. But I, thy servant, fear the Lord from my youth. That's the argument. Was it not told to you, my Lord, what I did when Jezebel slew prophets of the Lord? How I hid a hundred men of the Lord's prophets by fifty, fifty, fifty in a cave and fed them with bread and water. That was the argument. Is that the way I will be paid? I did right. I feared the Lord from my youth. And then I helped to preserve his prophets when Jezebel was holding sway. Elijah did not say, you are talking rubbish. Elijah said, however, go and tell your master that I'm here because that's what God said. And then eventually the man was paid. He had an argument. And then what about Elijah himself? When Elijah was asked when he was fatigued, and then the Lord came there and said, what are you doing here? He said, I've been very jealous of the Lord God of Israel. And then they have killed all their prophets, and I am the one left, and they seek my life. He was saying the truth. He was saying the truth in the sense that he didn't know about this other 7,000, but he was saying the truth concerning himself, that he has stood for the Lord. He was saying the truth. And the Lord did not say, you are telling a lie. You are blowing your trumpet. No. He accepted his argument and then saved him. That is about Elijah. What about Nehemiah? Nehemiah in his day when he was building the wall, he said, I'm doing a great work. And when he was governor, he said, I will not do like the other governors. And in two times, two places, he expressed his life. How that he didn't do like the other governors. And then he said, think of me for good, for the life that I lived. God did not say you are blowing your trumpet. Arguments have been of old. The Lord said, bring your strong argument. Even our Lord Jesus Christ, in John's Gospel chapter 17, he said, now glorify me. Why do you glorify me? I have finished the work you gave me to do. I have shown these people your name. I have finished the work. So glorify me as a, a reward for having finished your work. That is in John chapter 17. And now I tell you this, watchman, this crossover message before us is loaded with one argument which if you receive and cherish, you, you understand, first of all, receive it, cherish it, and wield it. What you have done by so doing is that you will qualify yourself to cross over from 2000. And 22 to 2023, and from 2023 to 2024, and from 2024 to 2025, and from 2025 to 2026, and from 2026 to 2027, and from 2027 to 2028, and from 2028 to 2029, and from 2029 to 2030, and on. And on and on. I'm not kidding here. Not talking ecclesiastical jargon. God gave me this message when I was in intense prayer. And the message was written within 10 minutes. One of the nights I did not sleep. So I'm not kidding here. Something about the watchman is that some of the things that Jesus Christ said is working as far as some people are concerned. And what is it? He said, the prophet is without honor in his land. I know individuals, ministers inclusive, that hear the things that I say and they shake their heads. 
I know individuals that is reputable people, people that are real ministers. And then in their phones, MP3, they have 500 messages of this man. I'm telling you, one of such people called me on phone one of the times and was crying after he listened to a particular message and he listened he told me i am lying on my back on my bed i listened to so so message and the thing was somehow to me and then i listened i put the playing instrument on my chest and lay on my bed and listened up to it over and over again. And when my wife came back, I told her to lie down. And my wife lay down, and I put the message, the instrument, the phone on her chest, and listened to me over and over again. And after that, he called me on phone. And I was at Enugu. And he called me on phone and was crying. I want you to pray for me. I want the spirit that is inside you, that gives you the revelation to be inside me. Today, we are doing crossover. And I'm telling people, and such people will hear it. Some time ago, I went into the midst of people that are not watchmen. They invited me. And as I was talking, I said, let's recover the wasted years and bring them bring forward the wasted years and they were looking at me and they were looking at me I said what do I mean I want to tell you what I mean before you became born again you spent 30 years you spent 25 years you spent a lot of time wasting your life smoking cigarettes and drinking and being drunk and, and committing sin there are the wasted years if you will promise God that if those years are brought forward and put into as additional to your years. That is assuming you are built to die at 60. But you wasted 30. Now you are approaching, you are 50 or you are 55. But you wasted 30. That you can bring forward the wasted years and tell God to now add it to 60. If you make him a promise that you're going to use it properly and he will do it. And they shook their heads and people went on their knees praying. I'm telling you, what argument, what is that strong reason? That strong reason that I want to bring out that will qualify somebody today qualify some woman, some boy, some girl, whosoever wills, is found in the prayer that the Lord taught, the Lord's prayer. One statement that he made, that's where the argument will come from, and you qualify yourself to cross over and cross over and cross over and cross over. In Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, verse 7. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the hidden do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Verse 9. After this manner, therefore pray, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Now look at this. Thy will be done in earth as it is done in heaven. Stop there. Stop there. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. 
uh, in, in, in future messages, I will show you what the meaning of thy kingdom come and how it applies today and how it brings miracles today. Now, but I want to show you how thy will be done in earth as it is done in heaven will qualify you to live and live and live. Now, Jesus Christ in that place was showing that there, is, there are people in heaven that are right at the point is talking and at this point doing the will of God. And then he was asking them to pray that there should be people on earth doing the will of God in agreement with the rule. Your will in heaven, your will on earth. Then, are there people that are doing the will of God in the third heavens, that is in the kingdom of God? Yes. And who are there? The angels are there. The 24 elders are there. All the saints that have gone and that the ones that went before the resurrection were taken after the restoration into heaven, the Abraham and Co. And then the ones that have uh, now died after the resurrection, their spirits are all there and they are doing the will of God. And what are they doing? They are glorifying God, they are worshiping God. They are worshiping God on and on without fear. They are worshiping God. And then I show you what they are doing. In Isaiah chapter 6, Isaiah's eyes of understanding were opened by the Spirit of God, and he saw what these beings do. Even the angelic beings, what they do on and on continually. In the year that King Hosea died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train Fear the temple, that is a robe. Fear that temple. Above it stood the seraphims. Each one has six wings. With twin he, he covered his face, and with twin he covered his feet, and with twin he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Listen to me. This is what is going on. Not only by the cherubim and seraphim, but by all the inhabitants of the heavenly Jerusalem. You say, true? Yes. Revelation chapter 4. Revelation chapter 4. And let's read from verse 1. Revelation chapter 4. And we read from verse 1. After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was, as it were, of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit that is... I was, I was in the spiritual realm that is the spirit of God overwhelmed me and I lost consciousness of this, uh, my environment and, my, and this world and, uh, and gained consciousness of another world. And behold, a throne was set in heaven and one sat on the throne and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone and there was a rainbow around about the throne inside like an emerald and round about the throne were four and twenty uh, seas, and upon the seas I saw four and twenty elders sitting. These are the heavenly pe pe people, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold, and out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God, that is, sevenfold spirit of God. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne, and round about the throne, were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. And the first beast was like a lion, the second beast like a calf, and the third beast 
had a face as a man, and the four beasts were like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each, from the, each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and the rest not there, none there. And I say, Holy, Holy, Lord, Holy, Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And when these beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever. And uh, the four and twenty air that fall down before him that sat on the throne, and worship him that liveth forever and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are, and we are created. The angels are singing and singing and singing and singing and praising God continually, all the inhabitants of heaven. That is their business. And they are doing that on and on. And Jesus Christ said, Thy will be done in heaven, done in earth as it is done in heaven. Now, his will in heaven is that they do this. His will in heaven is that if there is any occasion that he needs to send an angel to attend, he will send the angel and the angel will attend to that matter. You remember when Daniel was praying and fasting and then an angel was sent to him to answer him. And now but that angel was waylaid by a principality that was in charge of the region and then and said to that angel, that came from the third heaven, from the kingdom of God. You are not going to pass here. And you are asking, hey, what, how could that be? Yes, these principally, these angels had not, their powers had not been removed at all. And then what happened was that as that angel came and that principality that is in charge of the region said you are not go cross cross here when we were together i was your boss and they have not removed that authority from me because we have not gone to hell eventually so now go, you are not going to cross here and then that other angel that came from heaven couldn't do anything until michael was sent and then when michael came to the scene he said I have authority over you, and therefore get out. And then he got out. And so, in heaven, they send them for business, and the Lord sends them at his will and goes to do the business. You know that in Hebrew he said, I then not ministering spirit that we are sent to minister to them that shall be heirs of salvation, and things like that. Angel Gabriel was sent unto Blessed Mary and was sent to the people sent to, to Zachariah. And so, but the major thing they are doing is uh, this worship. Listen to me. And now they are fulfilling the will of God in heaven. And Jesus Christ said, that we should pray, let the will of God be done on earth as it is being done in heaven. Now, I am asking you, who is the person or the, who are the persons that should do the will of God on earth? Is it the heavenly people? No, it is the human being. To do the will of God. Jesus wasn't talking to angels. He was talking to human beings. Let the will of God be done on earth as it's being done in heaven. So let the worship that is going on in the heavenly Jerusalem go on on earth. Let the service message, the service that the angels are given to do at one point in time be continued. Let the evangelism continue here. 
Let winning souls for Christ continue here. That's the will of God. Let intercession, intercession, standing in the gap between somebody and God continue here. You wait, watchmen, because we have come. We have come. We have come. I said, we have come. God saved the watchman. Now, you know what? The, I talked about let the intercession continue. Do you know that if your father, your biological father, is unsaved and remains unsaved and dies unsaved, it is because there was nobody. You were not sufficiently concerned. That's what happened. You couldn't stand in the gap. That's what happened. If you are mother, if you are husband, if your wife is in sin, is a drunkard, and he remains in that condition, and dies in that condition and slips into hell. It is because you are the husband, we are not sufficiently concerned. I will prove it in the course of time. They remain in their status and die in their status because somebody, there was nobody sufficiently concerned. If there is somebody that is sufficiently concerned, he will continue to make argument and argument and argument. Listen to me. I said to God a number of nights ago, but you see, my wife is part of me. I mentioned her name. I mentioned the six children. And I said, these children came from my loins. I put my hand like this. They are my seed. My seed fertilized the seed of a woman. So I'm the procreator. And there is no possibility of me procreating children for Belaya. Not possible. Did I ask your child? And I rest my case there. These children no show. They must follow the God of their father. And then I have testimony, but that is at another time to this effect. And therefore, now, let thy will be done on earth. Let thy will of uh, showing the people the way to the cross. Let it continue to happen. Let thy will be done on earth. Showing the people the way to the cross, the way to repentance and faith toward God. That's the way, part of the will of God. Part of the will of God is to stand in the gap between man and God, between your relative and God. Let that will be done as some aspect of his will is done in heaven. Let the will of God in the matter of worshiping the Lord be continuously done in the earth. Various aspects of the will of God. Pastoral work is the will of God. Let it continually be happening. Evangelistic work and going out and bringing people into the kingdom. Let that will of God be continuously happening. Being a light unto the Gentiles, unto the people that are outside the kingdom, being a light. Let that will be continuously done. That is what Jesus Christ was saying. That that will should continuously be done on earth. Then I come with the bang. The argument. And what is it? When now you come before the Lord. Even this night, this morning. And then you said, okay. Let thy will be done on earth as it done in heaven. They are doing your will in heaven on a continual basis. I will be part of the people that will continue to do your will on earth. Then you qualify to cross over and cross over 
and cross over and cross over. You continue because you are among the people. Listen to me. You become undiable. Some sort undiable. See, if you have argument that you can present that that we disannul this argument, present it. If anybody has any argument that can disannul this argument, present it. A lot of people, the world requires the knowledge of God to fill the streets of the world that the waters cover the Atlantic Ocean. And some person is saying, I will be part of them that want to do this will of God on earth. I will be part of them. Lord, I see something. I see that the devils have erred. They have intruded into the lives of human beings. They have uh, sneaked themselves into the lives of human beings and tormented human beings. And that is not what it ought to be. Somebody is praying. Somebody is saying, it ought not to be. God did not give them to inhabit human beings. Remember, in the day of Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ came across one person that was inhabited by a lot of demons. And uh, when he came across, those demons knew, listen to me attentively, that they were not supposed to be in this body. They knew that they were intruders. And they didn't waste time to cry out. And say, thou holy son of God, who brought you this way, don't torment us. If you send us out, allow us to get into the swine. And the Lord Jesus Christ said, I allow you. I don't allow you to get away from this person and get into another person. Because you are not supposed to inhabit human beings. You are in truth here already. I don't allow you to enter another person. Now, I allow you to enter the swine. Why? Even I won't allow you to enter the sheep. I won't allow you to enter oxen. I won't allow you to enter goats. Because those are clean animals. We wish they worship God. We wish they sacrifice unto God. I allow you to enter the swine as you requested. Because they are unclean animals. Now, somebody comes around and said, But a lot of people are possessed. A lot of people are messed up. A lot of people are messed up. Somebody comes around and said, A lot of people that are possessed with Satan and satanic music have have." Rubbish the whole world. I've turned the minds of people upside down. But I want to be part of the musician that will render even that that we will render and people will run to the cross. Why will God not allow such human beings that want to continue the will of God on earth as Jesus Christ said why would the Lord not allow them to cross over and cross over and cross over and cross over so they can continue in that something? Don't you know that as we are praising God, as we are praising God, as we are making intercession, as we are praying to him, as we are doing evangelism, as you are preaching to people, as you are doing some good, as you are pastoring, as you are pastoring, as you are a shepherd, that you are doing the will of God on earth. And now that will of God is meant to be continually done on earth by human beings, not by dead people. Just like the angels are doing their own. And then you are coming to the Lord and say, see, the angels are not going to come to do the will, the will on earth. It is human beings that this belongs to. And I, be, I, want, I'm, I am one of them, not I want to be. I am one of them. And so I will leave this year and cross over to the next year doing the thing. And I will cross over to the next year joining among the people 
That argument makes you to live and to live and to live. And I bet anybody that hears this message and will say, I can see. I bet that person that so many people, as a matter of fact, their problems will drop at this message, even the cross overnight. Their problems will drop. And God is the person that will prove that what you have heard is the truth, nothing but the truth. Thy will be done in heaven as thy will is done on earth. The angels and the inhabitants of heaven are doing his will. There are those that are required to continually do his will under the sun. And if you make up your mind, I'm not talking about people who use their mind to talk, but don't mean it by the heart. Why do I always tell you that I am undiable? Is it boldness? Why do I claim it? Is it being bold? Christian boldness? No. It's not boldness. It is because of what I know. There is something that needs to be done that has not been accomplished. He has said unto me on the 16th of March, 1979, at number 25 Richard Street, Asata Enugu, and I, even I, the Almighty God, we bring you dust and ashes into that for which I've called you and that without measure. Meaning, 100% I will bring you into it. And then I tell the Lord, it has not been done. And therefore, why should I leave this place? Am I leaving this place because I don't, I don't want any more? Did I tell you I'm tired? Then, and now, say the Lord that formed me from the womb to be a servant. Bring Jacob again to him. Do Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be my strength. And he said, It is a light in that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give you for a light to the Gentile that thou mayest be my salvation, means of my salvation unto the ends of the earth. My friend bought just a fraction, infinitesimal fraction of that business is what has happened and then you say that i should get out for what for what reason is he going to make angel michael and the host of angels to come and turn human beings and do the work look at our world look at the nations and I die to tell the watchmen at this point, even this last day of 2022, that the Lord has told me he will take over a nation to take over nations. He will take over a nation, and that nation is Nigeria. I will take it over to take over the nations. Who is there among you? that looks into that prayer and said, the Lord Jesus Christ said, thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. That is what he told his disciples to pray on. Who does the will of God on earth? Is it not his children? Should that will of God be done only occasionally? No. The Lord is looking for people who will communicate with him, who are praying always. You know why? You know why? Listen to me. Do you know that prayer is weapon of warfare? And it is described as follows. We have weapons of warfare that are not carnal. They are not AK-47. They are not pump action gun, they are not artillery, they are not mortar fire, but he said that they are spiritual, they are a mighty true God to the pulling down on strongholds. Listen to me, do you know that if you have a people that are praying and making argument and saying things that they are weeding 
wielding, they are wielding various instruments of, uh, of uh, spiritual weapons. In the physical weapons, you have the guns, the submachine guns, the machine guns, the mortar bombs, and the dynamite, the grenades. But in the spiritual, we also have that. That's the truth. And then there are people who are praying and talking to God and saying the earth is the lost and the fullness thereof, the world and them that dwell therein. And there are people that are saying the knowledge of God and the glory of God shall fill the earth as the waters cover the Atlantic Ocean. And then other people are saying, how long, O oh God, righteous and just, will it be before you bring justice? And they are screaming it and they are saying it. And on a continual basis, people are saying it there. People are saying it there. Listen to me. Listen to me. Now, what they are articulating in their arsenal. These other people in their arsenal. Arsenal means your storehouse. In their arsenal, they have some machine gun, machine gun, AK-47, and this and that. But in these people's arsenal, they have also speed. They have AK-47, they have machine gun, they have some machine gun, they have napalm bomb. Hear that. And so the Lord is looking for people in the present day that will carry out this his will. And when he sees them, he spares their lives. That's where we are going. Join me. When he sees them, he spares their lives so that they can carry out his will on earth as his will is being carried out in heaven. The question I'm asking, whosoever that is listening to me in all the places wanting to cross over, do you want to cross over from 2023 to 2024 and keep crossing over? If you want to do that, you want to identify, you want to say, Lord, enough of stories. Enough of daily darling. Enough of sitting on the fence or standing by the sidelines. I plunge headlong. I don't waste time again. I must become born again tonight. This morning I give my life to Christ. And I'm pursuing sanctification. And I'm pursuing baptism with the Holy Spirit. With evidence of speaking in tongues and prophecy and everything. And I'm, I'm, I'm pursuing being an instrument of God one way or the, and the other. I'm pursuing being a worker one way or another. I'm pursuing being an evangelist. I'm pursuing being a musician that will counter the music, the satanic music of these days. I'm pursuing one thing or the other. And when you identify and said, I am one of those people that will do your will on earth as it's being done in heaven. You have qualified yourself to cross over from year to year. You have qualified yourself to have a divine healing. And the thing will come in a twinkling of an eye. You would not know. You sleep and wake up and you will not find the things happening to you. I give you to understand that this is the truth of God's word. And during prayer, intensive prayer, the Lord led me to this argument. And the message was written in 10 minutes time. Let me sign off with it. That information. Who wants to cross over? And cross over. And cross over. And cross over. And cross over with me. Because as you see me, I will continue to cross over. And cross over. And cross over. And cross over. And cross over on Till the deed is done. Until this verse of scripture is fulfilled. And I end with it. And it's in Hebrews chapter 11. 11 and verse 12. Therefore sprang there even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky, a multitude 
and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. That is what the Lord has arranged to achieve, to execute. And he went and chose a man. And that man is the one talking with you. And then, not only that man, but by extension, all the people that will align with him. In the 2020 frame, you will hear such messages like, I am looking for the children of the ministry and the children of the man. The one that will align with him. And such people are such people that can enjoy the benefits that this man is enjoying. Where do you stand? After hearing this, if I were you, I would rise up and say, Oh God, thank you. As we sing the song, you are now saying, I can see. I can see. I can see a single argument that will heal me of diabetes. The killer disease. I can see. The single argument that will set me free from the paralysis that is setting in. I can see the single argument that will now remove a devil from me and God will connect me to an instrument that will make the devil get out from me so that I can join the people I want to continue the will of God on earth like as the angels are Continuing the will of God in heaven. I want to sing the song that is found in number. Song that says higher ground. That's the song we are singing. And as you sing this song. And you are already on a higher ground. And you burst in prayer. And you are saying I get it. Can I tell you something? I give you this testimony. And I close. About 1989-88. As I read concerning Martin Luther. And I read concerning the Inquisition. Then some fear struck my heart. And because of the threats. In those days, some fear struck my heart. And I was wondering, with the thing that happened to Martin Luther, at a point in time, listen to me, when Martin Luther nailed the thesis, 90-something thesis, on the door of the church. And then he was called to question, and the bishops, and he came in their midst. And they said, you have some one week or two weeks to recant. And Martin Luther said, I cannot recant. My mind, my heart has been taken captive by the word of God. And then as he left that, that, uh, that judgment hall, he went into hiding for a long time. And they were looking for him to keep. And I have read about that. And I have read about the Inquisition that, that took the lives of many, many people. Then and some fear came in. That was maybe four years or two years, three years into my being born again, 1975. And then I didn't like that. Can I go on with this vision, with fear? And so one day I went to a retreat and the preacher as it were as though God saw me and made him to begin to say something in the line of what was happening to me so why are you afraid God is giving you something to do and you are afraid God has the power 
And he was saying, 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 until he made a statement. I don't remember the statement. And because I was focused, I was looking, I was eating the word. Then I saw the word fly. Now I know that word flies. I know that word travels. And I saw the word travel from the pulpit and hit my heart. I saw it in the spiritual realm. And then when that thing happened, I said, oh my God, who will whisper to him to stop preaching? How I wish he can stop preaching. And then immediately I wish that in my mind. The man said, I am done. Let us pray. Oh, wow. And I was sitting at the back of the hall. And then I looked and saw the door. And I said, if I stay here to pray, in two minute, 10 minutes time or five minutes time, somebody will come and say, we have finished praying. Round off your prayer in the name of Jesus. And I didn't want to hear that. I dashed out. And thanks be to God, I saw a car that my friend parked. And it was open. He didn't lock it. I entered there. And when I came out from the prayer, I became another man. I pray that you should become another man with what you have had. You rise up on your feet and let's take the song. Song number 154. I'm pressing on the upward way, new heights. I'm gaining every day. You have gained even this morning. Still praying as I onward my Lord. Plant my feet on higher ground. Pressing on the old way, you are. 
Thank you, Lord, for this very day. Thank you, Lord, for this very day. Thank you, Lord, for this very hour. Thank you, Lord, for this very day. Thank you, Lord, for revelation.
Jesus Christ of Nazareth was another one. Obadiah, the chief of our staff of Ahab, was one of them. You say, bring your strong argument. And I say on the behalf of the watchman, Lord, let your will, your will be continually done on earth. And now, Lord, I say, every one of them, wherever they are found, wherever they are found, wherever be the continent they are found, and identify with the truth that the man of God by the Spirit of God has given out the Father they qualify as thy children and they become undiable. They become indestructible. Yes! No mito no koto. Yes! Yes! The crossover from 2022 to 2023 and from 2023 they cross over to 2024 and from 2024 they go to 25 from 25 they go to 26 from 26 they go to 27 from 27 they go to 28 from 28 they go to 29 from 29 they go to 30 from 30 they go to 31 from 31 they get to 32 and on and on and on and on and on and on doing the will of God on earth until the day that the rapture takes place. Kurfu Siklosana. Somebody, somebody must lead the people into the will of God. Some people are leading the people into the will of Satan. In the present day, musicians are leading the people to Satan. And are being possessed. And they are doing the will of Satan. And they are being mesmerized. Eternal Father, oh my Father, somebody must lead the people into the will of God. Into serving the Christ. Into marching fire with fire. Into marching power with power. I bless your name. I bless your name. As the people my eyes of understanding having been opened by the king turn a rock of ages from the north and to the south and from the east to the west the cardinal points and there is nobody that is not located somewhere lord some are located into the south some are located in the north some are located to the east some are located in the west some are located north east, south east, east south east, then south west, and some north west. Grandfather, apart from the cardinal points or in between, there is not anybody that is listening to me that is not located somewhere. Lord, as I'm talking, let them all that are located in any of these locations. North, south, east, and west, and in between, grandfather, wherever they are, let them be affected and let this message open the doors and let them become different entities in the location. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you very much because I know that you have answered. Thank you, Lord. Complex kuzena te seluz de la there. No pelu dus kundus kis. God is making children of the ministry and children of the man. And then they will be built all round. And then they will be built.
economically built. They will spiritually be built. So every one of you that think that we are joking, we are not joking. You will see what is going to happen. I understand the situation in Nigeria and God is wanting to, to build the children of the man that will join me in ministry. Great Father in heaven, every person, every person's destination in all eternity is a person's choice. Lord, when somebody chooses the right, the grace of God will come. And the spirit of God will come. When somebody chooses the wrong, the devils will come. Precious Father, I pray, let them choose the right. So that the spirit of God will follow. So that the grace of God will follow. Let it be so. So that in the, in the course of time, in the very first quarter of the year, these people will be saying, thank God we are, we, we are with him. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the first to hear be the first to experience. Let the first to hear be the first to experience. Let the first to hear be the first to experience. Let the first to know be the first to experience. Let the first to know be the first to experience. I say it the sixth time. Let the first to know be the first to experience. Now the seventh time. Let the first to know be the first to experience. Thank you, my father. Make your choice. Make your choice for 2023 and then on and on and on and on. I am not kidding here. I'm not kidding here. I am telling you the truth of the mighty God of Jacob, the mighty God of the watchman. Remember, you are associated with a place that has the purest of foundations. And nobody can argue against this and be, and be right. Nobody under the sun. The devil can't. Lord, I present them again once more in this last day. All the things in your arsenal that you have scheduled to enrich them with. Lord in glory, in your arsenal there is faith as an instrument. Big faith. The faith of the child. In your arsenal you have prayer prowess. In your arsenal, you have utterance. In your arsenal, you have insight. That is somebody knowing something deeply. In your arsenal, you have an eye of understanding being opened. In your arsenal, you have the gift of wisdom. You took that gift of wisdom in the day, in the, in the days gone by, and gave to Aholiab, and gave to Bezali, and they were having such craftsmanship that were indescribable. Blessed Redeemer, in the time of David, he had such craftsmanship in playing the musical instrument. And so when he was playing, and singing, the evil spirit ran away from Saul because he was expressing the power of God through the instrument. Lord, I pray that all these people that are handling one thing or the other, let them be endowed Amen. with a spirit of wisdom and insight. In every area, there is not an any area that is small. Every area is important. 
bless the Redeemer, every area. Let them be endowed. Let them be influenced by the Holy Spirit. But they may be experts. Thank you very much for answer to prayers. Thank you very much for answer to prayers. Let the people continue to sing I cross over and cross over and cross over and cross over. That song, that was song. Let the people sing it and go home to their, to their location from uh, the cross of a night. Lord, I bless your name because you have delivered. You have done what you promised me. Thank you very much. I am grateful. Glory and honor and praise be unto thee who liveth and reigneth. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen, and amen, and amen, and amen.